Washington State live picture from Everett, Washington, from our affiliate KIRO and also Boeing. Uh, 10.24 in the morning, West Coast time. As you know, 1.24 in the afternoon, East Coast time. And we are waiting for this flight 787, the plane 787, the maiden voyage, a maiden flight. More than two plus years of delays have brought the plane to this place, cleared for takeoff at the Everett facility, a uh, test flight today, a uh, test flight over the weekend, and then a series of nine to ten more months of testing for this plane before you will have the opportunity to fly on it. And a lot of orders have already been placed. In fact, it is Boeing's most successful launch when you look at the orders that have already been placed, 865 of them right now from 57 customers. At the controls right now, a pilot and his... There really is much more wrong to the market now, a plane that is going to be more fuel efficient, a plane that is going to be more environmentally friendly, as he told me. Patrick, I think we're ready. ready. I think we're ready to watch the uh, maiden flight right now, the flight 787. Here's the opportunity to hear the applause and celebration in the background, and let's watch as the Boeing 787 Dreamliner makes its debut in every launch More than two and a half years of delays, and now this Boeing project is set. again cleared for takeoff and taking off in the skies over Everett, Washington. At the controls, it's Mike Carriker, is an engineer and former Navy flight instructor, and he is a co pilot in there as well. A, a day that is long in coming for the endless uh, number of employees at Boeing and the companies that were uh, responsible for putting together so much of the composites that are a huge component of this plane. Uh, the Boeing CEO, Jim Alba, telling our Patrick Ottman just yesterday about how important this plane is for the company. He says, we think it's a game changer because it provides so much value to the customer that it made its debut on this Tuesday, late morning and early afternoon on this Tuesday. You're watching CNN. You're in the newsroom.